Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another daily vibe for around the 28th. We're just going to see what comes up. I have opened up more readings uh, for June, so if you click the link below um, this video, it says it goes to my Schedulosity. You can book a reading there. Um, they're opened up for June. So, only a few slots though. Um, but anyhow, so what do we have for around the 28th? Please excuse the band-aid. I was uh, cutting up scallions with uh, scissors and, uh, you know, cooking scissors and just was going a little too fast. And I'm all scratched up from the plants I've been planting. So just whatever. What do we have for around the 28th? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is an individual that is very loving, warm, tender, emotional. Could be a psychic, could be a healer. This is somebody that is very sweet, romantic, delicate, um, smiling, happy, in love, falling in love, perhaps, offering love. Queen of Cups is, is very, you know, what I just said, tender, loving, kind. Somebody's dealing with this person, or they're all in their emotions, they're expressing their emotions. It's definitely a very loving uh, person here, somebody that is lovely, absolutely lovely. So, three of coins reversed. So, this is not working together, though. Lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness. Three of Pentacles, not on the same page. A need to refocus. Need to refocus. Interesting. Four of Cups. Discontent. Mm. So the Queen of Cups is somebody that is very intuitive, very in touch with their emotions. Maybe, you know, not wanting to work with somebody. Uh, somebody's not interested. Just not interested for some reason. Um may not be seeing what they have you know it's this one she has a cup so we got the queen of cups here offering somebody some so, some sort of love but this person's not interested or they don't want it or something like that which is interesting because it, that's cool i mean it's not cool but you notice we got the queen of cups back there trying to give her love to somebody who doesn't want it this person doesn't want it very loving hmm doesn't these people are not on the same page <laughs> seriously with the three of pe co three of coins three of pentacles reversed we have a couple or you know does that have to be a lover okay two people that are not on the same page this one is 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 offering something something but another person isn't interested just not interested four of coins reversed Knight of Swords. About to open up. Somebody was stubborn. Very, very stubborn. This person would not accept the love. Wasn't interested. But they are about to open up. All of a sudden, too. All of a sudden, things change. And things change fast. And this person comes rushing in. They come, it's like out of nowhere, out of nowhere, this person gets this new idea, gets this new thought, takes a new approach, and here they come. They're coming fast. They're ready to open up. They were stubborn or they were fearful. The four of pentacles reversed. They were focused on their money, focused on their job, focused on their stability or they just weren't interested for some reason. They weren't interested in love. They were more interested in building up their financial stability. They just, love wasn't a priority. Now here they come with that Knight of Swords in a hurry. In a hurry. All of a sudden, they know what they want. I know what I want. So it's, it's almost like a change of heart, I think. The world major new somebody may have learned some sort of lesson they're ready they're ready they're moving towards success moving towards the future very 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 fast 
They've learned, somebody's learned a lesson. They have learned some sort of lesson. I'm not sure what this lesson was. Maybe they just don't want to be alone anymore. Hmm. Ooh, they become enlightened. Hey, man, somebody has become enlightened through solitude. They have. They may have been playing games. A lot of stubbornness, too, with this card and this card. We have somebody here that was may have been trying to prove a point, maybe even a point to themselves. Maybe they didn't want to let go of something. Stepping into a new phase of life isn't easy because usually when you step into a new phase, you're letting the old phase go. And this is struggling to let go, struggling to change, str struggling to look at things from a new perspective. So we have somebody that has been definitely struggling. Maybe they were struggling financially. Maybe they didn't think that they were worthy. We have definitely find a couple of financial issues here. Maybe they didn't feel like uh, they couldn't provide enough or something like that. They were not interested, but I think they've had, they've gone through some sort of awakening or something, some sort of enlightenment. They're about to open up. They're about to share, the, you know, all of a sudden, they're ready for a new beginning or they're ready for that next chapter. They're ready for that next phase of life, which is interesting. Five of coins reversed. It was a major loss. We have a major. Somebody has experienced a major loss by thinking a lot, you know, they may have taken their time, you know, with the hey man, they, they thought about it and thought of it. And because the, and it's funny that I it did yesterday's reading just last night, maybe less than 12 hours ago. And this is definitely like a part two. We have this individual who has been thinking a lot. They're thinking about the loss. They're thinking about the loss. They are. They're thinking about what they lost. You know, they're thinking, you know, it took too long. They took too long. And, and now it's a major loss. It's a major loss, but we have a turning point. We, the world turns, and this is a turning point. So we definitely have a turning point. This person is about to come rushing. I feel like in rushing back into the situation, coming back in. So this is definitely part two. It is. Um, it could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um doesn't have to be whoever if Taurus Virgo Capricorn we have quite a few pentacles here um, somebody was very much focused on n maybe not getting in a commitment or not giving their heart away because they were protecting themselves this person may have a I don't know maybe it's a motorcycle I don't know this person may have been in the military anyway whoever this person it doesn't have to be this per whoever this person is this person is a protector they know what they want and they're coming to get it so it's like they're, they're definitely coming to get it this guy is on a mission he is ready to open up he, he lost something he or she this person lost something and they're ready for a new beginning they may be feeling Like this is totally lost and they need to hurry. They're in a hurry, put it that way. They've become enlightened. Four of Swords, because it ended. Something ended. This is like a state of despair. Somebody chose to just do nothing. They chose to do nothing. And in their period of thinking, you know, think, 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 and reflect, they, they, they've obviously been overwhelmed. They, it was, it was very, they, it's like they were, it's the heat, you know, and, it, and I wouldn't say it's the heat, the air heat. They were feeling the heat of, getting in a commitment you know and i think that that heat was pushing them away you know if they felt that they needed to uh retreat to think about this and they thought about it and here they come now we have four 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 okay four of swords four of cups four of coins four 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 
is uh, building a foundation, something coming to fruition, it's universal protection, um, invisible forces, okay, all is well when you see 444. So somebody has been guided by the universe with 444s or an outside influence, okay? I'm not talking about an earthly influence. I'm talking about a universal influence. Could be God, could be angels, could be a higher power, whatever. Somebody has been, could be somebody that has passed away, has been guided to um, wake up, wake up, wake up. You know, so somebody, and I feel like this is definitely an awakening. Somebody has gotten some sort of awakening that, you know, they may have missed an opportunity and they're going to get it. And I think that they are going to be rushing in very, very fast. If this message is for you, I feel like it's not going to be for everybody. And I know that a lot of people want it to be for them if they're waiting for this person to rush in. But there is definitely somebody coming in. I feel like this person is... Um, an individual that was insecure, uh, maybe still hurting over somebody in their past. That's why they couldn't uh, accept the love that was being offered. But now they're all, all of a sudden they're ready to leave with the world card that's leaving the past behind and stepping into the new life. So this person is definitely deciding to do that. They're deciding to do that. So be prepared for this individual who has made up their mind to uh, really open up. Really, because the Four of Coins reversed is opening up. Really, really, really opening up. It's a struggle for this person. This person has been struggling. But they were struggling because maybe things were moving you know, too fast. Or they were confused. Or... Um, hurt by somebody that said they love them but didn't really love them definitely that could be the case they could also be dealing with somebody that is like a psychic or a healer or an intuitive and that's a little intimidating so i think this person may be intimidated may have been intimidated by that anyhow um there was a lack of communication a lack of, of working together because this person wasn't sure. They were not sure what they wanted. Um, but they have made up their mind now. They have. Um, they're coming back. Eight of Cups of Reverse and Judgment. They made a poor choice. Judgment Reverse. This is moving on from that bad decision. Speaking the truth. The truth coming out. Um, and Eight of Cups reversed. They may have uh, walked away or somebody else walked away and left. And now they're coming back. There even could be an apology here. Maybe somebody wasn't owning up to their feelings. They weren't awakened either. They were not awakened. They weren't listening. They weren't listening to their gut. Um, somebody left them. Somebody walked away and said, you know, if you don't want me then I move it on that kind of thing and now and now they've gotten an awakening and they want to they want to come back with the eight of cups reversed judgment reversed lack of truth lack of awareness but the hangman is getting the awakening. So somebody has their time of solitude and this break time, they took a break, has really given them the information that they need. And then now they know what they want and they, they're coming back. So, I mean, this is definitely a play over. This is a play out or whatever. Phase two. <laughs> it's phase two. There it is. It's phase two. This person is now ready to leave the past hurts behind. They're ready to move on. They're ready to heal. They're ready to, uh, well, open up. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness as well. So I, there definitely could be an apology from this individual who probably hurt another person. They hurt another person by rejecting them. There's a rejection here. Whoever they were dealing with, um, the 
you know, decided to accept, decided to walk away, and that's what caused the enlightenment, the awakening. Now this person sees the love, they see the beauty, they see what they had. So this hanged man that was struggling, was this hanged man was struggling to give. He was struggling to give. He was, he was, he or she was struggling. And they may have been struggling. And the reason they may were struggling was there's some sort of financial struggle here as well. I feel like this person felt like they weren't financially stable enough to... engage put it that way but it's not about money it's about love it's about feelings and the feelings are real so i think we have this uh knight in in shining armor that is rushing in to uh, go after the love that he rejected because he was insecure um feeling inadequate i think he felt inadequate but i think he's gotten some sort of enlightenment and uh through this break time. So here he comes. Good luck. 